technically sunrise is like 520, but by the time we start boot camp at five, it's pretty much light outside. It is just so beautiful in red and orange and yellow. Like I said, the sunrises, sunsets, one of my favorite things about Arizona. Good morning. Happy, happy Wednesday. I am obviously on my way to boot camp this morning with my sweat rag and my bug spray because we are still in monsoon season. Even though we haven't gotten a lot of rain, it's still muggy in the morning and the mosquitoes are out. I also have a bottle of water, which I typically finish halfway through my workout. Like I always say, this is my least favorite time of year to work out outside. Not because it's warm. I don't mind that it's warm. It's just the humidity. I am so sweaty, just disgusting sweaty after my workout. I hate it. I really hate it, but that, but it is what it is. I am going to be consistent. I'm going to go to boot camp regardless of the weather. I mean, if I can work out at in 28 or 30 degree weather, I can manage some mosquitoes and some humidity, right? So I am on my way to work out when we get, I did make my protein coffee this morning as always. I've drank about half of it. So I'll finish that up while I get ready for the day. We'll have breakfast. And then I did a fries slash Kroger order for one thing. I'll tell you guys about it in the car on the way to pick it up. We've got to go grab that this morning. So I will see you back at home for some healthy breakfast. I'm home. I'm ready for the day. I actually finished up my protein coffee and now I'm going to make some breakfast. And I was thinking about what I wanted for breakfast on my way home from boot camp. And I think I want a breakfast sandwich and some fruit. It just sounds really good. I definitely want to load up on some protein after my workout. And then I'm going to mix up my one up nutrition creatine. I'll show you all of that. Quick OOTD. I'm wearing this top that I bought at Ross actually when we first moved here. So two and a half years ago, it's a little bit big on me now, but I really like this top. And then these black shorts are from either Shein or Timu, probably Timu. I'm keeping it comfortable, casual today. Like I said, we do have an errand or two that we need to run this morning. But before that, let's make our sandwich. So I'm going to do one of the Thomas English muffins. And then I do one egg, one sausage patty. Sometimes I do turkey bacon or regular bacon, but I'm going to do one of these chicken and maple breakfast sausage patties. And then I'm going to do a slice of Sargento ultra thin provolone and I toast my English muffin, cook my egg, warm up my sausage, get everything nice and warm and melty with the cheese. And then I've got, I don't know, a dozen blackberries left. I'm going to have those. And then we'll mix up my one up creatine. This is the newest flavor, acai pomegranate lychee. Pomegranate lychee, this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite flavor. First it was the pineapple, but this kind of stole the show. It's really, really good. It kind of gives tropical vibes. You can really taste the acai in the lychee. And and then just that hint of that pomegranate, really, really good. I'll mix this up in my Hydro Jug cup. I do have a 20% discount for One Up Nutrition. I have a discount for Hydro Jug. I'll put it all down below for you, but let's make breakfast. So here is my breakfast. I have my blackberries, and then this is my little breakfast sandwich. Super good, super filling, packed with protein. So I'm going to eat breakfast. We'll mix up my One Up Nutrition creatine. I've got to go add a couple recipes to my recipe website for my video going live today, and then we'll be heading out the door. I did a very, 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 very small pickup at Fry's for Yasso Bars. Now in my grocery haul on Saturday, I talked about how right now, I think it actually ends today or maybe tomorrow, Yasso Bars at all Kroger stores are buy one, get one free. So the bars, the bites, the little sandwiches, everything. Well, when I went grocery shopping, they were completely sold out. I was only able to pick up a package of the little bites, which Troy ate all of them. Dang you. 
him. I didn't get any of those. And then the coffee chip bars. He won't eat those because he doesn't like coffee. So I decided that I would go on the Fry's app and see if they had restocked the Yasso bars. And they have. So I think I ordered six, eight, ten, I don't know, a lot of boxes of Yasso bars because it's such a good deal at $3 a box. They didn't have all of the flavors. However, one of you mentioned that the mango Yasso bar is really good. I've never seen that in my store. So I ordered it. So I'm hoping that they have it and I'll be able to try out the mango bar. I'll give you a little Yasso bar haul when, when we get home. I also need to run to the post office. I have a package to mail off to my giveaway winner from my paid Facebook group. And I'm now pulling into Duncan because I decided since I was out running a couple errands, for some reason, Duncan sounded really good. Now, Duncan doesn't always come through. Sometimes it's very, very disappointing, but I'm hoping that today my coffee will be good because it just for some reason sounded really good today. And on Mondays, when you order ahead, you get a hundred extra points, which puts you like a halfway to a free coffee. So with all that being said, I'm in the Duncan drive-thru, but there's only one car in front of me. That is shocking. This Duncan in my neighborhood is always so busy. So I'm going to grab my coffee. We're going to hit up the post office next and then literally fries is right there and we will swing through and pick up all of my Yasso bars. All right, so I have my coffee. It looks pretty good. There's not much ice in here, but I can always add more when I get home. The true test is, does it taste good? Ooh, yeah, that's really good. I've actually never had this concoction before. What I did is an iced Americano, medium iced Americano. I always get two cream, not three, because otherwise it's just a whole cup of cream. And I really, really want to taste the coffee. And then I did one pump of regular donut flavored syrup. It's really sweet. It's like a really, really sweet vanilla. So I did one pump of that. And then I did three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. And it kind of tastes like a vanilla cake donut. It's really, really good. And then, like I said, two cream just so that it's not overly creamy it has more of a coffee taste it's really good and as I was sitting in the drive through at Duncan I realized that I literally have less than a quarter tank of gas so we're gonna stop and get gas after the post office before fries we need to make fries our last stop since we'll have a delicious ice cream and it is already 83 degrees here We made a Yasso run. So let me show you quickly what I have so I can just throw these in the garage freezer. We don't have room in our freezer in the house, so they're gonna have to go in the garage. So I'm excited for this. There's two boxes of the creamy mango. You know what, we'll probably try one of these today. And then there was a substitution. There didn't have the peanut butter or they didn't have the vanilla chocolate crunch. So they asked if they could substitute the peanut butter. I said yes. So I think I have four boxes. Yes. Oh no. One, two, peanut butter. Okay, so I see three boxes of the peanut butter and then the sea salt caramel chocolate crunch. These are the ones covered in chocolate. And I did two boxes of mint chip. Troy loves this one. And then there's two boxes of cookie dough and then two boxes of sea salt caramel. So 12 boxes of Yasso bars. I think we're good for a while. Along with my coffee, I'm going to have two of my Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. I love these. They're the perfect pairing with coffee. I will say about my coffee, side note, it's a little on the sweet side. I don't know if I'll 100% finish it. I'm about halfway done with it. I'm gonna have a few more sips and buy a couple of Alyssa's cookies. I buy these right off of her website. I know that they do carry them at some stores, just nothing in my area, but I absolutely love these. And here's what they look like. They're like little oatmeal cookies. They just have tons of fiber, some protein, and they're just a healthier option and absolutely incredibly delicious. So I'm in my office getting a little bit of work done before I have some lunch. And it reminded me that I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys if I'm still liking my circle water bottle. I shared this about a month ago. It was my first time using the circle and I've been loving it. It's funny when I take this out and about people always go, oh my gosh, I love the circle water bottle. It is so amazing for flavored water 
on the go. It's extremely convenient. It's a great way to get in flavored water without all of the artificial colors and dyes. There are so many circle water cartridges for different things. There's things for hydration, for working out, for day-to-day -day life. Bottle right now, I have the Fit Sip in Blackberry Burst. This is the flavor cartridge, so all you do Anytime that you want a new flavor, take the lid of your circle bottle, your flavor cartridge, screw that in to, to the lid, place it in your bottle. There's a dial here where you can adjust the amount of flavor that comes through. So if you want more flavor or less flavor, I like mine with a little less flavor. Usually I have my dial on number three or number four. And again, you can adjust that with the different flavors. Some flavors, I use four, some flavors I use three. This particular one, the Fit Sip in Blackberry Burst, I have it on three. And every time you take a sip, the flavor comes through. It's like I said, just a great way to flavor your water and of course drink more water. When it's flavored, it's much easier to drink. Like I said, there's so many different kinds of flavored cartridges. Life Sip, which is gonna be enriched with B vitamins for your everyday fuel. Fit Sip, which is what I have today, is for electrolytes to help keep you in the game. They have a caffeinated kit called Go Sip. Inflow, which is continuous progress and effortless energy. So it's optimized with green tea and ginger root extracts, caffeine, B vitamins, and taurine to help you get in the flow. There's just so many different flavor options on the Circle website. They have really everything that you would need. Every flavor that I've tried has been absolutely delicious. I, oh, I'm down to just a couple of cartridges. I definitely need to order some more. Like I said, it's been a really great way to get in my water. I look forward to drinking out of my Circle bottle every day and I'm still in love with it. I'm still using it daily. It really is a big game changer for water intake. I will link circle down below. If you use the link in the description box, you actually get a free stainless steel water bottle and a flavor cartridge with your first $35 order. Again, just use the link down below. I'll put the information here on the screen for you as well. One other thing I wanted to point out about the bottle that I really like is, can you see this little, it looks kind of like a shark fin? That actually will hold your lid in place so it makes it easier to drink. Your lid's not in the way of drinking. So yes, I'm still loving my Circle water bottle. I'm using it every single day. I need to get onto their website and order some more flavor cartridges, but I'll have everything down below for you. Highly, highly, highly recommend. So this is going to be my lunch today. I just made a little snack plate. These are the little plates that I buy off of Amazon. They come in a four pack in different colors. They have this little cup here for sauce. So I did some tomatoes from my yard, some little cucumbers, and then this is the uh, Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch Dip. We really like this for veggies. And then I have a little pack of my Simple Mills almond flour crackers and some roasted garlic and herb tuna. And I'm just going to put the tuna on the cracker. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you for lunch. So I just finished my lunch and don't judge me, but I may have two Yasso bars today. I may have two. I'm actually craving the coffee chocolate chip bar. So I'm going to have that. I did not finish my entire Dunkin' coffee, by the way. I only drank about half of it. I'm still going to track the cream that was in there. I want something a little more coffee-y, so I'm going to have a Yasso coffee ch chip bar. I love this one. It's like coffee with these chocolate chips in there, and then we're still having our Yasso bar for dessert. We're still trying the creamy mango. So last week, I talked to you guys about a cooling blanket. There's one on my dog bed in here, and I had ordered that tie-dye cooling blanket. Well, we fell in love with it. Troy really loves it, and we started looking into cooling pillows. 115 degrees here today, and sometimes it night we get really really hot and sweaty while we're sleeping so we decided to order a cooling pillow right off of Amazon from the brand Ella Gear. we love this brand I have multiple things in my house the cooling dog blanket is Ella Gear. other cooling blanket is Ella Gear. we know that the brand is really good so we decided to go ahead and pick up a cooling pillow and it just came in now I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen an update for you I'm going to sleep with this pillow tonight and then I'm going to let Troy try the pillow out as well so we'll have a couple nights using this pillow both of us before I edit this video so I'll give you an update on what we thought of it on the screen but Elegir is definitely a trusted brand for us and this is called the deep sleep cooling neck pillow it is super super heavy so I was excited that it was cooling but also that it really was supportive of your neck oh it is so soft it's so cold immediately to the touch gosh I'm already in love with this and I haven't even laid down on it it is so cold so incredibly soft you can see here that this is the actual pillowcase over the pillow so that you can remove the pillowcase for washing. I did get mine in gray just because I thought that it would match our bedroom pretty well. The other thing I really liked about this obviously besides the cooling effect is 
that it's made specifically for your neck. There's a lot of times that both Troy and I will wake up with a little crook in our neck from sleeping, and this has zero pressure technology. So it's actually built to take all of the pressure off of your back and neck. It has three groundbreaking innovations as part of this pillow. So there's softer cube touch, which is soft but not collapsed, achieving a blend of softness and support, release, which is the support aspect. It disperses support laterally to evenly distribute pressure, ensuring frictionless comfort during sleep. And then it's extremely breathable with a 95% open cell rate. So it acts like a personal air conditioner, effectively regulating your body temperature. And that is really important to us. Like I said, it's 115 here. I have a feeling Troy is going to steal this and I'm going to have to order another one. It perfectly fits the curvature of your head with its natural ergonomic design. And like I said, the pillowcase comes right off and is easily washable. It's even skin friendly and hypoallergenic. So those are two things that I really appreciate. Ergonomic design focuses on your health with a head support area, a shoulder placement area, a neck support area, and a side sleep support area. I'm 100% a side sleeper, so that is really important to me. So soft and cooling, like it instantly cooled me down the minute that I placed it against my body. I'm really, really excited about this. It's everything that I expected it to be. The quality is really, really, really nice. And again, I bought it right off of Amazon. It's from the brand Elegir, a brand that I trust. I will have it linked down below for you. <laughs> Why are you kicking at me? Booba! So it is time for an afternoon snack. I'm going to have my second protein supplement of the day. If you don't know, I have two protein supplements every single day. I try not to have more than that. I try to get the rest of my protein from food. There are times that I'll have a third one, like if I'm out and about and I have a protein bar, or maybe I get a second protein coffee, or I make a protein shake. But typically, truthfully, 99% of the time I have two supplements every day. So I did have my protein coffee this morning with a premier protein shake, my shots of espresso, and now I'm going to make a yogurt bowl for an afternoon snack. I love this because it keeps me super full. So this will tide me over until we have those delicious baked beans for dinner. So I have the two good vanilla yogurt. A serving of this is three quarters of a cup. I actually do an entire cup. That's going to give me 17 grams of protein. And I like the vanilla for this particular yogurt bowl. And then I'm going to mix in one scoop of my One Up Nutrition Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream Protein Powder. This is so good mixed into vanilla yogurt. Oh, it's so, so, so good. I absolutely love it. I've been eating it a lot, so I do one full scoop, that's another 25 grams of protein, mix that into the yogurt, and then I'm going to top it with one tablespoon of Chia Smash. This is basically a jam, but all that's in here is dates, raspberries, chia seeds, lemon. So there's four ingredients in here, so it's nice and clean. And I put one tablespoon right on top, and then I literally have maybe a quarter of a cup left of my Catalina Crunch, ooh, maybe not even quite a quarter of a cup of the Catalina Crunch Cinnamon Toast Cereal. I like to sprinkle that on top so that it gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch. Normally I'll do an entire half of a cup, but with the Chia Smash and just having this be a bigger bowl, I'm going to go with a quarter of a cup. I do have a discount for Catalina Crunch and I buy my Chia Smash off of Amazon in a six pack, six different flavors. I'll link both of those down below. And then 1UP is the same brand that my creatine was from this morning. So I do have a 20% discount for 1UP. So let's make this amazing, delicious yogurt bowl. So here is my yogurt bowl. So I did one cup of the yogurt, stirred in the strawberry protein powder. It's so good. Tablespoon of Chia Smash, quarter cup of Catalina Crunch. Absolutely delicious filling packed with protein. My nutrition order is here. I ordered a whole bunch of new snacks to try. I love nutrition because they're always bringing in new snacks, new foods. I'm so excited about this. I ordered so many new things. I've actually never tried any of the things in my order, so these are all brand new. And I was thinking we should do a taste test. We should try everything out. So let me unbox it. I'll show you the snacks and we'll try them. All right, so here is everything. Like I said, I got a lot of snacks. We have a couple issues though. It's 115 today and this is literal mel melted. It's just liquid. These are the skinny dipped dark chocolate salted caramel cashews. So I'm actually going to put those in my fridge. We're probably not going to be able to taste test those, but I'll try to share them in a future video. And then same with these Reese's zero sugar chips. Look, it's a block. So I'm going to throw those in the refrigerator too. We'll definitely try those out in a future video. Other chocolate stuff, these bars feel pretty soft. The Catalina Crunch, 
we're just gonna have to see how this all plays out, but let's try what we can. Okay, so first thing are these little snack mates. I've actually had these before. I've just never had the pizza flavor. They're just little tiny meat sticks. I'm not going to taste test these because I've had this brand before and I actually love them. It's the snack mates for kids, but it's just such a great way to get in protein. They're 50 calories a piece and they have five grams of protein. So I love meat sticks. I keep one in my purse. It's just an easy on the go protein snack. And then the other thing I'm not going to try is this little combo of these protein pretzels. So you know that I got a big bag of the everything protein pretzels from Costco. I've had the sea salt. We've tried these in a previous video. So the only ones I haven't had are the sesame and I don't want to open them up. There's two servings per bag. Each serving is 110 calories. So there's uh, it's about 200 calories per bag. I don't want to open them up. I already know that I'm obsessed with protein pretzels. I mentioned if you want a combo pack, Nutrition is a good way to go because you get one bag of all the different flavors. These two flavors I know that I love, so I'm sure I'll love sesame equally. Maybe we'll have these in the future what I eat in a day. A couple other kind of crunchy snacks. I got these. These are from the brand Mighty, and these are the Peanut Puffs. So these might be like the Trader Joe's Bombas, which I love. A serving of these is an ounce, and it's 100. 55 calories and these have real peanut butter yeah they look just like the bombas just smaller so here's what they look like they taste like the bombas basically it's just peanut buttery corn puffs they're really really good though I would say equally as good as bombas and then I got pork rinds and I don't really like pork rinds but these sounded good these are pork king birthday cake flavored pork rinds so a serving is 80 calories for half of an ounce and you're gonna get eight grams of protein so I thought if these are good that's a good way to get in some protein we have a little creeper in the background no just kidding he's just walking by they actually smell like regular pork rinds I'm a little nervous it says they have other flavors cinnamon churro Chur, chur wow, cinnamon chur wow, butterscotch, apple cinnamon, white cheddar, dill pickle, stupid hot ranch, and that's not all. So I'm nervous because they literally smell like regular pork rinds. Okay, they're good. They're good. They taste like birthday cake. They're kind of sweet, super crunchy like a pork rind. I do taste the pork rind, but at the very, very end, they're really good actually. I, I'm more impressed with these than I thought that I would. And again, only 80 calories and eight grams of protein. Not a bad deal. And then I got these, these sounded really good. These are from the brand Foods Alive and it says a better foods company. These are ginger snap sprouted crisps. Now these have really, really, really good ingredients in them. A serving is eight crisps for 140 calories. They had a few flavors, but I love ginger anything. Ooh, they smell so good. They smell very gingery. Here is what they look like. You can see all the nuts and seeds. Ooh, I'm actually really excited for these. Mmm. If you love ginger, you will love these. These are really, really good. This is ginger and molasses baked crisp. It's the perfect snack to satisfy your sweet tooth in a snap. Give your taste buds a flavorful punch as you fuel up with this wholesome crunch. They're really good. I'm gonna get some different flavors, yum. And then I've never tried these. My friend Cynthia, who's one of my coaching clients, loves the mint ones, and they were sold out, or I would've got the mint. You know me, you know I love mint. But these are from Catalina Crunch, and these are the dark chocolate cookie bar. I got it with raspberry. So one bar is 140 calories. There's three grams of protein. I have a feeling these might be kinda melted. Yeah, these are really melted. They're very, very liquidy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put these in the fridge too, but here's what they look like. We're not gonna get to try these out. Again, they're literal liquid in the package. That's what happens when you live in Arizona. There was no refrigerator pack or anything in there. I probably will let them know that they should be throwing ice packs in, especially the super hot climate, but we'll throw those in the fridge and we'll try them at a later time. Now I think these feel okay. They're a little melted, not terrible. These are cocoa dusted truffle flavored peanuts. Now I love peanuts. A serving of these is a quarter of a cup. It's 210 calories and there's eight grams of protein. These aren't too bad. Ooh, these look good. These actually aren't really melted. Here's what they look like. Little peanuts, cocoa dusted. Are they melted? Everything's melted, but like 
the non-chocolate things. These are literal liquid. That's weird, it's 110 degrees. Yeah, weird, huh? Yum, these are really good. I actually really like these. It says, it all started with nature's original healthy snack, the Almighty Nut. So they're very, very lightly dusted with cocoa. They're just little raw peanuts. These are good, they're the perfect sweet and salty and I love that we're getting some protein. There's a couple other things we're not gonna try. One of them is this brownie. I'll save this for a video. I'll make sure I try what we don't try today in an upcoming video with you or in some what I eat in a days. This is from the brand Munch Better. And this is their hazelnut brownie. It has 22 grams of protein, which is crazy. You guys know I bought those, those brownies off of TikTok, and I really like those. They're about the same, 20-ish grams of protein. These have 250 calories in them. It's super soft, super, super thick. I just don't wanna open it up since I'm not going to eat the whole thing. But again, everything we don't try today because it's melted, or we're not gonna try it for other reasons, we'll test together. And then this I'm really excited about. Shockingly, it doesn't look too melted, but this is the Own Wonder Square. Eight grams of protein, 100 calories, one gram of sugar. It says peanut butter cup protein dessert bar. I'm going to peel it so you guys can see what it looks like. But look at that, doesn't that look so good? It says to keep it refrigerated. So again, I don't wanna open it if I'm not going to eat the whole thing, but I mean, 100 calories, eight grams of protein, I'm excited to try that. And then these bars are pretty melted. They're really, really soft. I was so excited for these two. These are from the brand Harkin, and these are the gooey one, 140 calories. This one is salted date caramel. This one is crunchy peanut. And this one is crunchy pretzels, which all sound really good. Again, they're only 140 to 150 calories per bar. There's not really any protein, like one or two grams, but they're supposed to be just a healthier option for a candy bar. Again, let's pop these in the fridge. They're pretty soft. We'll have those as a dessert in another video. Now, I think everything else we can try. So next up is from the brand Points. These are the peanut chocolate candy pieces. This entire little bag is 90 calories, two grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. So these are supposed to be a healthier version of an M&M. They smell really good. This one's a little squish. Let's try this one. Mmm. These are way better than those other M&M dupes that we tried that I said tasted like erythritol. These don't have any weird aftertaste. Mmm, they're really good. The chocolate is definitely dark, so it's a little bit more of a bitter chocolate than milk chocolate that's on M&M's. These are really good, like really good, and you get a decent amount in the little pouch for 90 calories. That's a win. And then I've got some candy, because if you know, you know. I know, I, I love candy. First, we have Tidbits, and these are Tidbits Gummies Tropical citrus and they're only four grams of sugar 60 calories for the entire bag and three grams of protein we are going to try all of these these are super good they're very very tropical oh yeah these are really good it says made with prebiotics and real fruit juice yes 100 percent yes these are delish and then the last two things are from the brand Joyride. And first we have the peachy mango rings, zero sugar, no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives, 80 calories for the bag. No protein in these ones. Now the tidbits did have just a little bit of protein, but these are supposed to be peach rings. Each of these bags is a serving. Those are really good. I like them better than the Smart Sweets peach rings. These taste really authentic, like just full sugar peach rings. Yum. And then I got Sour Strawberry Rope Bites. This one has three and a half servings per bag. So a serving of these is actually eight pieces for 70 calories. So if you're gonna eat the whole bag, know that you're eating three and a half servings and you can see the bag is much larger than the peach rings. Here's what they look like, sour strawberry rope bites. Whew, those are sour. Whoey. Once you get past the sour, it is a really good strawberry flavor, nice and sweet. Mm, these are really good. And I noticed on the back of these, these are sweetened with allulose. 
It's my new favorite sweetener alternative because it's natural from figs and raisins. So I would love to see allulose in more of these sweet treats. None of these have any artificial flavors or sweeteners. Really good. All of these gummies are amazing. If you're like me and you love gummies, you are going to love these. So that's everything we can try today from my little nutrition haul. We had some really good stuff. There wasn't anything that I didn't like. And like I said, whatever we didn't test out today, try today, I'll try to incorporate them in future videos. But I love nutrition. They always have so many new things to try. Every single month they update their website. It's where I buy Fiber Gourmet. It's where I buy a lot of my snack things. That's where I discovered the protein pretzels. So I'll link nutrition down below. I do have a 10% discount, but all of this was really, really good. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to throw a meal in the crock pot. I'm making cowboy baked beans. So basically these are baked beans with meat so that it's more of a well-rounded meal. So let me show you what you'll need. Brown sugar alternative of your choice or regular brown sugar, whatever you prefer. Molasses, you'll need lots of beans. A can of cannellini, a can of Great Northern, and a can of kidney beans. Worcestershire sauce, sugar-free barbecue sauce. I'm using Lakanto. Any sugar-free barbecue sauce will work. Some yellow mustard, a onion, chili powder, bacon of your choice. I'm using fully cooked bacon, makes my life easy. And then either 93 or 96% ground beef. So I'm putting all of my ingredients into my crock pot. So starting with my pound of brown ground beef. Then I'm going to add my beans. So I drained and rinsed all three cans of beans. I was also going to tell you, you can cook this in a Dutch oven, whatever your preference is. You can probably even do it in an instant pot, but I'm gonna put it on like low and slow heating during the day today. And then I have a small yellow onion that I chopped up, half of a cup of the barbecue sauce, quarter cup of molasses, quarter cup of brown sugar, chili powder, about a tablespoon of yellow mustard, and about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper. It's not in the original recipe, but I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I have four pieces of that pre-cooked bacon crumbled up, and then we're going to stir all of this together. And I'm going to throw the lid on these and I'm going to cook them on low for about four hours. Three hours later. All right, the beans are done. They smell really, really good. I let them go about three and a half hours and then Troy unplugged the crock pot, but it's still super, super hot. I did go ahead and plate up a serving. This is a pretty good sized bowl. The entire crock pot makes eight servings of beans. Like I said, it smells really, really good. So I'll go ahead and put all of the points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. It's the end of the night. I am exhausted. I'm ready to go chill and watch some TV. And as promised, we're gonna have the Yasso Mango, Creamy Mango Bar. I'm so excited for this. I have heard really, really good things about this flavor. There's only 80 calories in here. And what I love about Yasso is they have some protein. So it's like you get ice cream with protein. I mean, what could be better? So I'm going to do this for dessert. I'll flip you around, show you what the bar looks like, and then I'll pop up on the screen what I think of it. I want to let it melt just a little bit before I have it, but I'm so excited to try this. on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing all the good stuff that I ate. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website. I will have that linked at the top of the description box. I will also make sure I link the circle water bottle as well as that amazing pillow. I'm really excited to go to bed. I'm really excited to sleep on that pillow tonight. Codes for everything else I shared with you today, it'll all be in the description box, as well as nutrition coaching. And come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive. We would love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your week. I will see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.